before you start, there are three main things that you should have. The first is an AR compatible iOS or Android device. Here are a list of compatible devices if you're not sure whether your mobile device would be able to run AR. The second is a Mac or PC computer to develop with. Make sure the computer has enough space to download and run Unity, which is the game engine we will be using. And then a mouse. It is possible to develop in Unity using a trackpad, but I would not recommend it. A mouse is highly encouraged. Even better if it's a three button mouse with a middle mouse button. Here are the major steps we will be taking to set up AR on our devices. First is to install Unity, which is a popular game development program. The second is to prepare our device, our mobile device, to develop on. And the third is to prep Unity for augmented reality. I will be using AR Foundation for this tutorial. As, to as opposed to Vuforia, which is another popular AR program that is also integrated within Unity. So the first step, installing Unity, look for Unity Hub on Google and download. Just download Unity Hub for now. Once you have Unity Hub downloaded, open it up. And as you can see, I already have a couple of projects listed within here. All you'll have to do is go to Installs and Add to install a new version of Unity. I have been using Unity 2020.3, which is the recommended release with LTS which is long-term support. Either that or 2019.4 is another reliable version of Unity to develop on. Make sure that while you are creating your project, you don't change or update the version of Unity that you're working on. Otherwise, it can break the project and cause things not to work, especially more so with augmented, re augmented and mixed reality. So once you've selected your version of Unity, make sure to select the Microsoft Visual Studio at included if you don't already have the program. The next is to select either the Android or iOS build support, or both if you would like to develop for both mobile devices. And press next. Agree to the terms and conditions and download. So once you, your new Unity version is downloaded, go to the Projects tab and press New. Make sure the template is on 3D and then name your project. I'll just name this test AR app and select the location for you to save this project. When you're done, press Create. Now that we're here in Unity, there's one final thing that we have to cover. What I found as a problem in 2020.3 is that Visual Studio, the code editor that is aligned with Unity, does not have the autofill options already pre-registered. Let's open up Visual Studio to see if the script editor is working correctly. So we can right click in the assets part of the screen Go to create C sharp script. I just named this test script. And we can open this up. In Visual Studio, right underneath this public class test script, you can type public game object to see if it's working. I had already loaded the Visual Studio autofill before, but in case it doesn't automatically show you game object, which is one of Unity's classes that 
can be scripted with, we need to go back into Unity to manually set that ourselves. So close this for now and save. So if you find that the autofill is not working in Visual Studio, go to Edit, Preferences, and External Tools. Then here, make sure the external script editor is set to Visual Studio. And then under Generate C CS Project Files for check all of the above. When you first start, only one or two will be checked. Make sure that all are checked and regenerate project files if needed. Then you can close and open Visual Studio again to see if the autofill is working correctly. And that concludes part one of downloading Unity and setting it up so that you're ready to develop an AR. For this step, I will be using an Android device to develop on. If you are using an Apple device, the procedures are a bit different. You will have to download the app Xcode on your Mac before you can start developing with your iPad or iPhone. And from there, there are a few more steps that you have to follow that I can't show right now because I do not have an Apple device. But for Android, you go to your settings. In your settings, look for build number. Once that is found, tap on it seven times to enable developing mode. Once you have developer mode turned on, scroll down and look for USB debugging. Make sure that is turned on and allow USB debugging. Whenever you load your app from the computer to the phone, you have to make sure USB deb debugging is turned on. That completes step two. Now that we're done going through the UI, let's start with step three, setting up AR foundation within Unity, the AR application we'll be using. So let's go to Window, Rendering, Lighting, and click New Lighting Settings. Then we go down here and go to Auto Generate Lighting. This will generate lighting within the scene. Next, we'll download the AR package. You have to go to Window, Package Manager, and over here, click Unity Registry to see all the packages Unity has available to download. We will be downloading AR Foundation. And AR Core. AR Kit is the Apple equivalent of AR Core. You can download both in one project if you, if you are planning to develop for both iPhone and Android. However, in this instance, I am only developing for Android, so AR Core is my choice. Okay, now that it's downloaded, we can close. And in the hierarchy, let's go to XR, which is the new menu item that was created now that we have imported AR Foundation. We create AR Session Origin, and do that again, and create AR Session. Now we have our basic AR setup. AR session tells the device that this is an AR scene, while AR session origin contains the AR camera, which is the camera we will be looking through on our phone. Let's move our queue in a good location so that it can be viewed by the AR camera. If you ever need to reset, you can click on these three dots and reset. You can just move this forward so it's just right in front of the camera. Since we have this AR camera, we can delete the default main camera. And save. Now we have the basic, basic AR setup. Let's go into building to the phone. Go to file, 
build settings, and switch to Android. Switch platform. Now add open scenes, and we'll add the scene that we currently have here, sample scene. Now go to player settings, and go down in the menu to player. Here you can change the company name, product name, and version. Right now the product name is set to the name of the project as a whole. Scroll down and select on the Android settings. Now go to other settings, and here we'll have to do a number of things. First, remove Vulkan from this graphics API. If you leave this in your project, it usually comes up with an error when trying to load onto the phone. Next, uncheck multi-threaded rendering. And under identification, check override default package name and name it something unique. Change the minimum API level to 7.1 and the target API level to automatic. That usually works fine. But if there's ever a problem, go back here and change it to the highest setting or whatever API your phone is using. Next, under AR Core, or under XR Manage, Plugin Management, select AR Core. This should be all the settings that you need to change before you build and run. Now that we're ready to load onto our phone, let's hook up our phones to our computer. Make sure that your phone is unlocked. Make sure to turn your USB debugging on and allow debugging on your phone. Then you can just click build and run. The first build usually takes a while. Now you can see Unity is opening, allow, and the f cube is there. It's floating right in front of me, just outside of my reach. Okay. Can't interact with it or anything, but the scene is working. And now you have completed the basic setup for AR and Unity.